Cheyenne, the Executive Director of ArtShare, and I'm here with... James Panazzo, Executive Director of Launch LA. And we're so excited to team up to bring you Garden Exhibition. This is an amazing show of 16 artists here in our gallery space. We're going to walk you around and introduce you to each of the, their work and see you throughout the month for different uh, activities. I'm excited to share with you two artists in this corner of the gallery. So Terry Lloyd, she has been creating artwork for years. Uh, I had the pleasure of interviewing her, and she shared with me that for a while, she started training herself to paint with her left hand. So out of that came this sense of child, childish and, and uh, childishness and exploring her childhood. So these works are painted with both her left and her right hand, and they depict a garden of scenes from her childhood. Obviously, Easter was a big one in her household. Um, and there's just some really unique, um, kind of Freudian analysis happening in her paintings. You have to get up close and personal with these to really get to know Terry's work. And then on my other side, um, Janet Milhom. Her work is stunning. Um, she's a photographer, journal, photojournalist. And um, she photographs a wide variety of different works. We're thrilled to have these works of flowers in nature. She really captures the light so beautifully. We feel like you're there. Hi, I'm James Panazzo, and I'm going to talk to you about two amazing artists that are part of the garden show here at Art Share. Marco David Castaneda, to my left, uses the photographic medium to really tell an amazing creative story. His, his subject matter in these photographs was actual natural beauty and landscape. And what he does is then manipulates the photograph, um, takes away its precious nature, and manipulates it into a new sculptural object. Our next artist is a self-taught artist of Korean descent, Mingo Kwan. And he, he received his first inspiration to become a painter at following high school, uh, where he learned several different techniques. And you can see those different techniques on display here. Um, he does have very representational work, but he does do a really nice job of using the paint uh, to create texture and form, and even shadow. Um, the use of color is minimal, but, but very, you can tell it's a very specific choice. And uh, I really like what he's done. I really like what he's done with uh, kind of a minimalist approach, but yet really giving justice to the subject matter. So Jackie Nagel's work is phenomenal. I'm standing next to it just so you can see the sheer size of the images that she paints. Um, she paints photorealism and adds some really great surrealism into them. The amount of detail that she has here is just phenomenal, from the eyebrows to the eyelashes. She just has such a beautiful hand. Um, and she did share with me recently that um, that hanging her work and sharing her work with the Art Share audience has been a goal of hers since she was in school. So I'm just so thrilled to be a part of her journey right now. Um, this work I just truly love. She's marrying um, the natural with the physical, uh, in, in just such a beautiful way, you can interpret this in so many, so many ways. Uh, Jackie, I just love your work. Thanks so much for sharing it with us. The next artist I'm presenting is Miki Yokiyama. And she's a wonderful artist who hails from Japan and has been spending a lot of really good time here in Los Angeles, utilizing her relationships with other artists to explore different mediums and different inspirations. Uh, you can see a lot of beautiful detail work and a lot of different mediums and a lot of different ideas in all these pieces. I love the line work, I love the detail of the line work, and also the beautiful calming effects of her color and background selections. You can tell that they, they do approach a narrative, but also in a, a very surrealistic way, a lot of symbolism and a lot of natural natural references, and uh, just really well executed, beautiful work. The next artist I'm going to share with you is Lisa Baldwin, who really submerges herself in the nature that she paints and explores. 
she lives in Topanga, and you can really get the sense that she really is at one with nature and the painting. Um, these are really, they're all, uh, there's two pieces in the show, they're both large scale, and they really take you into the place and into her surroundings. You almost can, you almost can smell, smell the fragrances and hear the calming sounds of the wind rustling through, through the leaves and, and the plants. Uh, really, truly representational work of, of a show like Garden. Really enjoy it. So I'm going to share three artists work with you. Um, this little gem is made by Polaris Castillo. It is such a beautiful piece and it's so um, poignant for today right now. I feel like we all feel like we're living on the moon and we really want to, uh, to grow something in our lives. So I just love this work and wanted to share this with you. Um, the other two artists I want to share is Sarah Liss on the far left. She's a photographer, local to Los Angeles and East Los Angeles. Um, and her work is really, really beautiful. There's definitely a sadness to a lot of her work and um, almost a mourning or a longing. These are photographs printed on photograph paper and unframed. And Meryl Leibowitz, this work just really took our breath away. The size and the detail on each one of these are just beautiful. She's been painting for 40 years, oil on canvas. Um, she has painted on a variety of different canvases. Um, from her bio, we see that she's painted on um, cases for violins and guitar fronts but we got the work that was on the traditional canvas. Um, th these works are just phenomenal and would just really land any room. So much color here. So many different shades of green in this. It's just really, really fun and phenomenal. Her work is lovely, Meryl Leibowitz. Hi, the next artist I'm gonna present to you is Tori Higa. And she has a beautiful uh, mixed media piece. She comes from a a really strong background of embracing kind of commercial projects. Her work is universally appealing and really enjoyable. The colors, the textures that you can see from fabric that she incorporates, and just really simple illustrations that can convey a, a sense of joy and a sense of nature. Uh, really well executed and beautiful piece for this show. Hi, the next artist I'm going to present to you is Robert Stewart. And these again are compositions that are just perfect for the garden show. And while I've really enjoyed some of the large scale work, and of course that's very effective when trying to convey a place, these little jewels are really magnificent. Robert has quite a bit of experience and quite a bit of gallery experience, and I think it really shows with how much content he really packs in into a smaller scale painting. Excellent Cheyenne, that was really a great little walkthrough of a wonderful exhibition. Uh, the artists selected really have some wonderful ideas, some wonderful skills, and uh, I look forward to more of these in the future. Me too, thanks James.